Hi guys, this is going to be my first video. Uh, I thought I would introduce myself and um, and say why I'm making this video for you guys um, or why, I'm, why I bother uh, to do this in my spare time after work or before work or hopefully uh, not during work. Um, but, well, the, you know, like the name of my channel is is Tech and Food um, Trail. I thought that would be, that would represent um, the stuff or the material that I'm going to show you guys within the next, um, well, hopefully in the next year or so. So, cross my fingers, I'm not going to quit after the first few. Um, but I thought, but... Um, We'll see. I, I'm not. I'm not really sure. Um, I mean, like as you can tell, I don't really do this that often. So I may, you know, stutter a little bit or you know, don't know what to say, which happens, you know, more often than not. But anyway, um, I thought I would give you uh, just a quick rundown um, of of the reasons of the two main reasons. Um, First reason, because of the name of the channel, I love technology. I mean, technology is uh, is all around us. Um, you can't really avoid it un unless you unless you live um, in a in a special community uh, or uh, in the desert where there's no there's no reception at all for your cell phones or there's no computer. There's no electricity. Uh, maybe there's no running water, but who knows? So, especially in my line of job, um, it's um, I'm in IT, so I have to love technology. Um, you know, it's it's basically left, right, and center for me. So uh, I thought, may, yeah, maybe um, maybe it's a good idea for me to experience. Um, the technology stuff from my point of view. Um, it doesn't have to fit um, what your perceptions are, but hopefully it's going to help you guys um, the, to decide, you know, which which one, uh, which way you want to go. Basically, you know, I, I'm going to show you my uh, the stuff that I have, the stuff that I want to buy, the stuff that I need, um, and. And the best thing is, um, I'm not partial to any one system or any one um, product or any one manufacturer. So, I mean, to give you an example, I have an iPhone um, and an Android. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I can see the advantages and disadvantages of both um, of both phones, which is great, but. Um, which is not great because I have to carry two phones. Um, lucky for me, I don't have a Windows phone, but I'm s strongly considering of buying one. But and um, the second reason of me making this channel or naming the channel the way it is is I love food. Um, what can I say? I mean, like eating eating is a way of life, but to eat. Um, Properly, um, to eat good food, it doesn't have to be expensive. Um, it just means that you're eating good, good food. You're eating healthy food. You're eating the best produce that, um, during the season, wherever you may be in the world. Um, whether it's eating tomatoes in the middle of winter or um, or eating the best avocados in the middle of winter, as opposed to buying avocados not in season, which is ridiculously expensive. And although you like avocados, um, yes, you can buy it and eat it during the summer, but to eat it when avocados is widely available, um, it just makes it that much better. Um, yeah. And over time, I mean, in the last maybe 24 or 36 months, I've been uh, watching what I eat, uh, which is also good. Um, and the best thing is, I mean, the most, well, let me let, let me start. The, uh, the most mis 
the most misconception uh, view that people make is if you want to eat healthy, it's going to cost you. Okay, uh, it's going to be more expensive. Uh, like like most things in life, you know, um, you just have to know what you eat uh, or what you can eat and what you should eat. It doesn't have to. You know, you don't have to sell your left kidney to um, to eat healthy. Um, you just need to know w what to eat, how to eat it, how to pre prepare the food, and where to buy the groceries. Uh, for example, you know, you don't want to um, go to the deli and buy your groceries from there. And I mean, delis are there. Um, well, the deli that that's um, that's around where I am anyway. It's those are those are catered for, um, you know, the the high income earners. I mean, it doesn't mean that I don't go there. I I love to go there, um, but for me to go there every single week, twice a week or three times a week, it's going to be too expensive. So, I mean, knowing knowing that you can buy. Uh, your fruits and vegetables um, from a market as opposed to even um, supermarkets and, and everything else. You know, it's it's going to be cheaper and it's going to be uh, s s most of the time it's going to be better. It, they're going to have better produce, um, so you don't you don't have to spend a lot of money to eat healthy. So and that's what I'm that's what I'm trying to. Um, uh, bring my point forward and hopefully um, get you to understand that you know it's it's easy to eat healthy it's cheap to eat healthy and and most of all um, the videos that, I, that I'm gonna make is also going to concentrate on how you're gonna make food um, easily um, so you don't have to go to restaurants for 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 dishes such as um, you know, pasta carbonara or bolognese or or even a good steak. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it, and hopefully, you know, it it may not be the right way, but it it has worked for me. I'm not a chef by profession, so you know, it's not gonna be it's not gonna be flashy or it's not it's not gonna be uh, it doesn't have to it doesn't have to look good. I hope. But it does taste good. So um, anyway, I'm gonna conclude this video by showing um, the stuff that I'm gonna review um, over the next uh, month or so, or the next week, uh, and the stuff that I'm gonna put um, into my new build, into into my new PC build, um, so I can show you guys um, how how you can how you can um, build PC. Um, with you know, which doesn't cost very very expensive, and that's the thing. Um, that's the thing that um, that is fairly sad to see that the the PC, uh, the PC industry or the PC market has shrunk considerably since the last time I built my PC. So so I mean I can relate I can relate to you guys in terms of you know why should I build a PC where I can buy a laptop for four hundred or five hundred bucks. I mean, I did the same thing. Uh, the last time I built my PC was a number of years ago, unfortunately. I mean, I bought my last two uh, laptops were the, that I purchased for myself was an Asus G series, which still, which which I'm still using, um, and a uh, and a MacBook Pro, uh, which I which I just bought last year for uh, development purposes. Uh, but I mean, I'm gonna explain to you guys why I didn't choose to build my PC, um, and hopefully that's that will probably relate to some of you, some of you guys out there. But it's um, I understand, you know, like the temptations to to buy cheap laptops or to buy a more a more affordable laptops, but uh, I mean. Building your own PC, I think that's a that's a good way of moving forward in terms of knowing your equipment better 
and appreciating your equipment better. Um, so the three products here that's going to be included in my PC is um, this Noctua uh, NF, NF F12 uh, PWM um, 120 millimeters premium fan. So uh, I mean Noctua is is one of the I, I'm not going to get into this that much, but Noctua is one of the most uh, one of the premium fan manufacturers. Uh, I think it's a it's a German company, I believe, or or an Italian company. But uh, I will get into this on my next videos. But I'm just gonna run through this very very quickly. Uh, my next uh, product is the Noctua NHD 14. Uh, I'm not sure whether you can see this or not, but um, it's a it's a CPU cooler. It's a massive massive CPU cooler. It's, uh, I mean, the box is this big, okay, so it's fairly heavy, it's, um, it's one of those aftermarket coolers where uh, most game, uh, I mean, some gamers use, uh, some hardcore gamers choose to, uh, to do water cooling, but uh, look, I always wanted to try this, you know, that looks pretty bad, badass, so... Hopefully that that's, that's going to serve me well, um, and you know, like cross my fingers, I'm not going to I'm not going to decide to chuck this away and buy uh, a completely ridiculous uh, water cooling rig. Uh, look, I may I may I mean the bug is pretty big at the moment to um, you know um, to build my new PC, but hopefully it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be um, it's, it won't go overboard, basically. Okay, so because because my because the budget won't allow it, and and um, it doesn't mean that I don't want it. I want it, but it's just gonna cost too much. So the next product is um, is the Asus Zonor Essence STX. Okay, so. Uh, there were a couple of debates or a couple of restless nights where, you know, whether I should buy a standalone sound card, which I will go through again in the next videos uh, or subsequent videos, but I have to have it, okay? So this is, this is uh, one of my requirements. When I do build my PC, I have to get a, stand, a standalone sound card. Otherwise, I'm not going to build it. Um, so, so this is a fairly quick um, look on how the box is, looks like, and just to let you know or uh, give you a preview of what's coming. The last product is um, I'm, look. I've got a few more that I can show you, but this is gonna be this this is gonna be it for tonight because I'm getting hungry and I'm getting restless. Um, so the next one is the Panasonic V700 video camera that I that I just bought yesterday. Um, this is probably going to be used for YouTube and personal videos, other personal videos, uh, mind you, but it's not going to be what you think. Um, it's going to be all PG rated, uh, but this is going to be it. Okay, so it's it's fairly light, and that's 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 one of my requirements as well, but. You know, like, um, I can use my DSLR to do all this kind of stuff, but, yeah, I mean, the purpose that I'm going to use it for, like, which, which is one of them cooking, I'm not going to risk, uh, damaging my lens with all those oils or hot smoke or probably not smoke, but I'm not going to risk my DSLR in, you know, in getting too close with, um, uh, with the stove or, with the barbecue, or um, you know, maybe, maybe um, I'm gonna I'm gonna use it to take pictures of the of the dishes. But no, if I'm, my theory is, if I'm gonna take videos, I'm gonna have a video camera. That's it. So thank you guys again. This is my first first video, so stay tuned, and hopefully I can entice you guys to. Um, to subscribe and 
and view my videos over and over again, but not too much. Thank you.